Oh my word. Oh my word. You missed. Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. You know, I am a very rookie, novice semi-truck driver. I am just not that experienced yet. So we're easing into it, not in our semi-truck, but in a Kenworth. And I'm gonna show you what my dash setup looks like. You will notice it is not a manual, it's an automatic. I figure I can get a lot more comfortable navigating around the co-op with a fully loaded semi. If I'm not so worried about shifting, I can just focus on my driving. And then once I get really skilled at that, then I can focus more on my manual driving skills because clearly they need some work. I'm going to be following Grant to the field. All we have to do is push. Push, okay, put the clutch in, put it in drive, okay. And let out of the clutch. And here we go. I am a beginner, so just have some patience with me in the comment section. I know I'm not good at it. Okay, I'm approximately two and a half minutes into this automatic semi-truck driving thing. I thought it was going to be like driving a car. It is absolutely not. I was trying to keep my foot on the accelerator in the right place to keep it from shifting because it just upshifts like literally just now. I haven't accelerated anymore but I guarantee in about three seconds, it's gonna downshift. It's like it can't figure out where it wants to be. It is just constantly shifting up and down. I don't know about this. <laughs> this thing's falling apart. We have an automatic truck, an automatic tarp. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did the, did the handle know. fall off? That's a great point. Goodness, come on. <laughs> Lori does not like the Kenworth. Ah, it's just. So here's the problem. I'm in second gear right now. I want. Or no, oh, now I'm back in first. I'm going to accelerate just enough for it to shift into second but the jerk of the shift moves my small little body so much that it takes my foot off the accelerator and then I'm back in first gear. We have made it to the ethanol plant. This is where I was doing all of that hauling this winter. It was like February, March, February? Wait, maybe it was before that. And it was way easier and less nerve wracking then because there was nobody here. Seriously, I would haul the whole day and only see like maybe two or three other trucks, but Harvest is in full swing around here. And so if I mess up, there's going to be a large audience of friends and neighbors here to witness it. Not to mention you guys, you guys watching. I want that one. Do you like that truck? Whoa. Yeah. We're driving. I don't know, these trucks aren't very cute for me. Oh, come on. <laughs> It's Our not, little fleet of white farm trucks. It's not very cute. So in total, we have three semi trucks and trailers. We've got the Kenworth, which we're driving now, which is automatic, has a little ISM Cummins in it. We have the Freightliner, which has a, I think it's like a 3406 Cat in it with a 10-speed Eaton, and then our truck with the uh, oh nine-speed and what's the engine in ours? Oh, a Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Tight squeeze. Oh, I think I'm gonna clear it. I hope I am, it's too late now. Pulling into the little building to dump the corn. 
Now the real trick is, can I remember exactly where I need to stop? I think it's like right here. Okay, neutral. Ah, thanks. <laughs> You missed! <laughs> Laura spilled some corn! Grant can't say one word about what I spilled! Whoops! This is bad, Grant. The guy is, there's a guy that's pulling in right behind me. He's gonna know that I dumped that corn over here. You can clearly see. And I was wearing, I wore bright pink today because I was so proud to be truck driver, I wanted people to know it was me, and now I wish that I would have just worn a black hoodie or something. Now everybody knows that was me. Bye, Laura. Laura's gonna go to a dentist appointment. I actually have the worst toothache right now. I, I'm sure it's hard to tell, but I am in so much pain, and so my mom is here to pick me up and take me to the dentist. Hopefully, hopefully it's nothing major, but we'll see. So I'm gonna take the truck from here. That's why we're riding together. I will meet you back at the field, Grant. Okay. Good luck. Bye. Even with our nice harvest equipment, you still lose an ear here and there. The Peterbilt's back. I just went and picked it up. Uh, all the wiring issues are figured out, so the engine fan works. We were having a bunch of issues. I don't know if I really let you guys in. A bunch of wiring issues, got them fixed, it's back running. We are glad to have it back, that's for sure. On the way to the field, I think they're getting a little backed up, so we really need this third truck. And then just in time. Laura's been driving the Freightliner, your freight shaker. What do you think? I, I think freight shaker is an appropriate name for it. That thing rattles a lot. And if you look over to your right just a little bit, you can see the ground going by when you're driving. I don't know about that. I think it's just, it needs a new boot by the shifter. Yeah, probably. But like I said, I haven't killed it, rolled down a hill, got into an accident, hit a telephone pole, got into a ditch, popped a tire, split the trailer, and all of those things are constantly running through my mind. So I, we're doing okay. Boy, it's a nice evening out here. It is really nice. It is what, it's almost five o'clock, isn't it? My goodness, it's evening already. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. You off for another load? I am taking off for another load. <laughs> if it starts. Maybe. You got the key on? Give it a little juice. You out of gas? It says I have a half tank. Didn't we fill this this morning? Uh, yeah. It's very interesting. I didn't flip any switches. It was just on like five minutes ago. That's not good. This thing's loaded. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm in neutral. Nothing coming out of the stack even. She left her running. Luckily we have some ether in the trailer. Ready?
got to eat there. We had just enough. Woo-hoo-hoo. That was close. I'm not really sure why that happened, but like Laura said it was running five minutes before this. So I just wouldn't shut it off for the rest of the day. I think we're just going to keep it running. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. You have extreme consequences. If I wasn't scared before, I'm scared now. <laughs> that thing has the weakest horn I've ever heard. I have never seen a train at these train tracks. It's really important to just be very attentive and aware of what's going on because these tracks are around a corner. And so I was slowing down already to go over them, but I'm glad that I looked and I come to a stop. That a train is a truck driver's worst nightmare, at least in my opinion. And back to it. I just killed it in the middle of the road. Oh. What are the odds it starts? Please start. Thank you. Let's try this again. Oh, my little flipper was up. That's what happened. There we go. Oh, that is such a relief. Okay, let's time myself. It is 5.40 as I'm pulling into the ethanol plant. Let's see how long it takes me to dump, weigh, and get out. It's 5.59 and I'm just pulling away. I am really proud of my shifting. I think it's really improved today. Let's see if you can watch me from this angle. All right, we're stopped right now. Seven, so I don't have enough time to make another load. It's 6.45 right now. So I'm going to take the pickup in the fuel trailer home and start making dinner. We've got Brandon running the combine today since Laura and I are busy running trucks. And my dad and Gage have been in the grain car and Kim is back there in the other truck. Everything's working pretty good around here. It's really nice that there's no wind today. When standing around farm equipment or any type of equipment, never stand in the back like I am now. Always stand on the side. You never know when they can back up, especially a grain cart. The side is always the safest place to be. Or better yet, where they can see you. Video doesn't do it justice, but the combine is on a steep hill. I've already combined the dry land. And Gage is pulling a heavy, heavy wagon up. Hear that thing screaming. Gage has got his lights on. It's his favorite time to harvest. 
he's having a good time. So, Broward County Line Farm. This is the farm that Grant and Laura, they started rent, I think renting it. And this is where I got the tractor stuck. It's actually right here, right by this tree. Yeah, it's actually right there. But this is probably, this is the worst field for like hills. The cab of my tractor right now is under the level of the top of this. So we go so far down into this ravine. I don't even know what to call it, to be honest with you. But it's very steep. A full cart, it it works the tractor. I'll be honest, it does work the tractor. Sunset right now, it's about 631. The sun's right in my eyes. I can hardly see right now. So this is what I'm seeing right now. We're in the little ravine that I said we were, but you can tell how tall and how steep these little hills are. The combine's putting off so much dust and there's no wind down here. It's just sitting. It's a lot worse in person than it is on camera, but that's kind of cool. I did a lot of scraping this year with our scraper over here, just filling in little washways that the water kept running down. Got the lights all turned on. Let's go for a while this evening. Since we're going late and the ethanol plant closed, we are coming to the farm and dumping at dad's place. Come right out of the truck into the bin. All right, let's close that up. Now you've seen both pads of corn during harvest. We take them either to our bin site at home or we take them into town. No video is complete without some kittens. The other two are under the deck all cuddled up. What do you think, Pepper? You ready for supper? It is the most beautiful evening. Most of my fall days are spent around really loud machinery or in equipment. So these little moments at home in the mornings and the evenings that I get to enjoy the peace and the calm is so welcome. Here is supper tonight. We have a little cabbage salad with apples in it roast potatoes and pork chop. It's me, Grant, and Gage out here. Night shift. I've been running trucks all day. I'm excited to get back in the combine. I will say the combine is probably one of my favorite places to be. Oh, yeah. Feel, feel good? Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gents. You know what time it is. Food review time, baby. All right, we got pork chops, coleslaw, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of coleslaw, but honestly, this is actually really good. So then we got potatoes, like seasoned potatoes. They go they go perfectly with the pork chops, but me and Grant got like a full four course dinner tonight. We're gonna start running late, so he hopped in the combine. I'm still in my humble abode of the tractor. So, yeah. A lot of you guys have been asking if we continue picking at night. And for most of the year so far, we just have not because we've been hauling everything to the ethanol plant, which closes at seven. We have our semi truck back. We were able to fill a whole extra truck, which is so nice. So we we're able to continue a little bit into the evening. I believe Grant, we are almost full. Gage, Gage is coming. he's coming. I see the headlights, he's coming. Full here. Oh my goodness. Crawling up a huge hill. It is quite odd being in the cab at nighttime. Grant put this thought into my head and it's kind of been freaking me out ever since. If you think about it, we could be in like a submarine right now. Look, look in front of us. So like, just imagine we're harvesting something underwater. Like the dust could be like the what filth, plankton. like in the water, like we're just in the deep ocean out here just in a submarine working underwater it's weird to think about and even like the corn kind of sounds like water rushing especially when the corn is coming out of the auger is it too soon to talk about submarines maybe all Ooh, right idle down whoa you're not tired are you Ooh, it's only 9 30 but man 
Well, why'd you do it like that? Now I'm tired. <sighs> okay. Shut the key off. I'm ready to go home and do some laundry and get ready for tomorrow. Oh, dang it. It's gonna cool down, apparently. Alright. Okay, well, I guess we won't go home yet. <laughs> we are. Don't yawn again! <laughs> I just wanna go to bed. We are signing off for today. We are on the road to 500,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. Almost there. I'm gonna go, even though I'm tired, I'm gonna go home and edit a video for you guys. Yes, so if you haven't already subscribed, now's your chance. Uh, I am so proud of Gage. I think he's doing such a great job filming. I'm so happy that you guys enjoy him as much as we do. He is the perfect addition on the farm. We could not be doing this without him. Also, if you haven't noticed, I have Laura Farms branded hats, stickers, sweatshirts, shirts, and they make great Christmas gifts. Christmas that will be here before you know it. So be sure to check those out. We do that with Bunker Branding. Thank you for watching today's video of Harvest. It will be another full day tomorrow, so stick around. Bye.